This was supposed to be a regular parliament session and the hope was it would end weeks of political deadlock. Lawmakers had gathered to vote for a new speaker. Macedonia's opposition and other parties representing the ethnic Albanian minority won enough votes to elect an Albanian to the post. But the move angered a group of nationalists who broke through a police cordon and stormed into the chamber. Throwing camera tripods and chairs, the protesters attacked MPs before police used stun grenades to restore order. 77 people were injured, including opposition leader Zoran Zaev and 22 police officers. Afterwards, the country's president called an emergency meeting of senior politicians. I want leaders to meet and find a solution for the exit from this situation. Leaders have the mandate from the people and they are the most responsible to find solutions in accordance with law, constitution and parliamentary practice. Nationalists, who have 51 out of 120 seats in parliament, refuse to accept the alliance between Social Democrats and Albanian minority parties. The two ethnic groups were on the brink of a war in 2001, but an internationally brokered peace deal stopped further fighting. The EU has expressed concern about the latest violence. By saying that what we have seen yesterday in Skopje, uh, is particularly worrying and uh, very sad, I think, for all of us. We consider violence always unacceptable, even more so when it happens in the House of Democracy. The clashes inside Parliament lasted for hours. The demonstrators were among a group of protesters who've been holding rallies for the past two months. Many fear the latest incident might put a further strain on relations between Macedonia's two biggest ethnic groups. Ben said, TRT World.